Hey, my MGTOW brothers. So I wanted to make a second video today. Hopefully, no one knows where I live. If you do, hit me up so we can hang out. But if, if these surroundings, if, if you recognize these particular surroundings. Um, and, uh, you know, and I'm hanging out here in town doing DoorDash uh, at my office. They, I was working 46 hours a week. I then go to the gym back to work. Yeah, excuse me, I just finished dinner. And uh, now they changed us to 32 hours. So that's a 14 hour decrease. So, and the gym is closed. So I've been doing DoorDash directly after work to about eight, nine o'clock. And then go home and train every day basically extending my four day a week upper lower program to basically seven days a week. Trying to make sure I don't lose any gains while this pandemic is happening. Also on a second note, I wanted to let anyone who's watching this know that I believe it's on May 2nd, uh, London Real, Brian Rose, is doing a third David Icke interview. But it's, it's gonna be on his website, uh, londonreal.tv. And that's going to be epic as hell. Super epic. And uh, so on those notes, uh, I'm just sitting in the trunk of my car with my hatchback, just eating dinner here. I'm about to get back on the road in a few minutes. And uh, it's, it's so much crazy stuff going on. I wanted to extend on the, or just keep adding on to the vein of you know, women wanting more and more, but they provide less and less to you. So why get into a serious long-term relationship at all? And, uh, you know, and so what we've seen, not just myself, but what we've seen is that, you know, a couple main points, foodie calls. Foodie calls are when women will meet men online. They'll allow this man to take her on a date. And usually he pays because he's stupid enough to fall for that. And then uh, he gets nothing out of it. Now you can say that sex is not guaranteed after all that shit. That's all BS. Women use this as an excuse to get food out of a man, a, a, a free meal, while giving nothing in return. Okay. And then afterwards, they'll have, you know, Chatter Tyrone come over to their house and uh, take care of them. <laughs> It'd be fun way. I just gotta check out that mustache. And, uh, and yeah, so this is, this is another thing where, where women take advantage of men and men are stupid enough to fall for it because women still want men to take on the traditional duties, aka, you know, paying for a first date and then, you know, and then she'll ghost him afterwards. And in my personal experience, and I believe the personal experience of many other men, uh, comment below if this is also your personal experience, uh, we'll say that, okay, uh, she'll say, you know, okay, so you first say, I only go Dutch, okay, which is where each time you split the bill, which in this world of supposed gender equality is the most fair thing to do. You, you know, the restaurant, you go separate checks, she pays for her drinks and food, you pay for your drinks and food, See la vie. That's it. But uh, but now, so women still want men to take on the traditional duties of dating by paying for the bill. Okay. And she and men fall for this because women will go will go. If you pay for the first date, I'll pay for the second date. And but the thing is, you're not going on a second date <laughs> because she just wanted to get a, a, a foodie call out of you. And there was an article that, that came out, I think it was the New York Times or some other mainstream media newspaper, saying that, that, that one-third of dates are actually foodie calls. Okay? Because women in their youth, you know, still have so many options that they can keep men around. You know, they, they can, you know, have a rotation of men, we call it beta orbiters, where these men will willingly give her money for things because they think down the line they're going to get sex out of it. 
but really she's she, she's having Shatter Tyrone come over afterwards, you know, to bang her out. And he doesn't have to pay any money. He doesn't have to do any work. But she wants you to do the work. And she won't respect you unless she for uh, unless you accept doing the work and putting her on a pedestal and making her the prize. But then she still won't respect you because women say they want to be put on the pedestal, but deep down subconsciously they don't. Men are the prize. And men need to if you want to date long term, you know, which I don't recommend, you know, this is how the, you know, what I remember with the family laws and all that jazz, never getting legally and financially entangled with a woman. But if, but if you want to, you know, seriously date, and, and that's your personal life choice, then you know, you do need to be the best man possible in terms of looks, money, status, so that you can get the highest looks, money, status woman possible or else you're just going to be stuck with a low-life woman and then all she's going to do is bring you down. Okay, she, 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 she's not going to help raise you up and help build up you, you know, and actually want to build a life with you. She's just going to bring you down while taking more and more from you. Because these women are not like, you know, the women of old where they, where they get with you on the, on, on, you know, based on your potential, your, your, your supposed, you know, money-making potential. They want to wait at the finish line, you know, when you've done when you've done all the work, and they just want to move in. Okay, they're basically parasites, leeches. They're like uh, the Gould from Stargate SG One. They're just there to take, conquer, you know, and 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 enslave, and they enslave you through the family court system. Okay, I think that's a very apt analogy. <laughs> So, women still want men to take on the traditional duties, uh, paying for dates, but men don't get anything in return most of the time. And uh, so that's another reason why dating today, relationships today are basically done. And another th uh, main point is that I think we're all getting so tired of seeing all these women that, like, they basically have, they're just all about makeup, nails, you know, fake looks, hair extensions, they, and they spend so much money on this crap because they think they can get a, a, a man of higher status, you know, the more makeup and stuff they put on. And so it's just another way that, that they have to manipulate you into dating them. And they can't just be real with you, you know. And that, to me, I see as a problem, which I think women need to remedy in some way. And... Uh, yeah, it's very crazy what's going on out there, and uh, but I think also a third point, men need to have higher standards, and not just, you know, pump and dump, whatever, but actually, if you want to date, you know, sh short term, still kind of date with a purpose, where you're not just pumping and dumping the fattest, ugliest landlord, or just, just to get your dick wet, you know? Because then you're gonna turn her into an alpha widow. She's always gonna be, you know, looking for the next shad because she got with you. And then her life is basically ruined because that, you know, fulfills her narcissistic uh, supply for looks, money, and status. And then, uh, and then she's screwed because she's always looking for the next best thing beyond that because of how hypergamy works. So I think there's a lot of work that men and women have to do on both ends mostly women, I'm going to stick with that theme for now, mostly women that have to do a lot of the work to bring men back to the game, uh, but also work that men have to do at the same time. So anyway, just some random thoughts, I'm sitting here, I'm going to get back on the road here, I'm going to fire this thing up, get back on the app here, and uh, if anyone can tell my surroundings and lives in the same area, uh, yeah, hit me up man. We're all just sitting on our asses at home. I gotta still be out there making money on a Sunday night. <laughs> Alright, this is Oki Migtown signing out. We'll get some more thoughts and ideas. Uh